Hello all! Welcome to this new video where I will show you how to implement an API gateway with Spring Cloud Gateway Dependency. I will show how to use the configuration-based implementation and how to implement it with the gateway filter object. But first I would appreciate if you subscribe to my channel to support this video and the following. First of all, this video belongs to a bigger playlist where I try to handle the main patterns of the microservices architecture with Spring Cloud and Kubernetes. In the previous videos, I've implemented a backend user, which was another microservice but with public access. This microservice was a web application whose main role was to build a complete response calling the private microservices and return the complete response to the user. But this solution isn't a good one. Having a microservice to build a complete response calling the inner microservices will lead to a more complex system. Because with time, instead of adding the complexity to the adequate microservice, I will tend to add it to this backend. It will be first some mapping, then some conversions, then some calculations, and finally you have your spaghetti code. This is why the API gateway is a better solution for this case. The API gateway will just redirect the incoming request to the inner microservices. It should have no more logic than that. It should have no more complexity than that. Then the inner microservices, each one, will be responsible to deliver a complete response. Each microservice will need to communicate with the other to obtain the necessary information to build a complete response for the user. So, let's implement it. Let's start by adding the Maven dependency. and I must ensure to remove the web dependency. Easy, reload the project and continue with the configuration. I will redirect all the requests which start by books to the books microservice and all the requests which start by prices to the prices microservice. This option will let me use the name of the microservices as they are registered in the Eureka service discovery. With the prefix LB, I use the Spring Cloud Netflix Ribbon Load Balancer to distribute the request to the microservice. Here I specify the conditions which make the request use this route. And as condition, I will only use the URL path with a regex, a start condition on the URL. One last thing, the gateway has a different way to be monitored, instead of using the regular actuator configuration. Was easy, right? With the configuration, I can handle multiple cases with different predicates and multiple predicates for a single route. But let's implement something more difficult. Let's intercept each request and validate it's really authenticated before continuing the routing. For that, I will use a custom filter, a gateway filter. How does it work? The gateway filters work as the HTTP filters. They will intercept the incoming requests. I can add all the logic I want. Then let the requests continue to their destinations. And when finished, I can again add some logic to the returned response. I will first add the reactive web client to allow me perform requests to other microservices. This client will read the information from the Eureka service discovery to map the service's name with their IPs and ports.
Let's now create the gateway filter. I will add this empty class as I don't need any particular configuration. This will make the request to the service user's microservice. I read the response into this class. And with this, I edit the request, adding a new header, a header with the user ID information, which will be sent to the target microservice. And as with the HTTP filter, call the filter chain at the end. Final step, use this filter. I will edit my configuration to use the filter only at some routes. and redirect all the requests with the signing information to this new microservice. All steps done, let's test all of this. Here I get my token to authenticate the remaining request. Let's use it now. Here it is, the information returned by the inner microservice, after the authentication is done. Let's do a quick recap. 
I've added the Spring Cloud Gateway dependency to handle the API Gateway pattern. Using this library makes my application incompatible with the web application. I can't have an application which acts as an API gateway and as a web server. I've configured the routes, adding the target microservice and the predicates. To target the microservices, I've used the Netflix Ribbon load balancer, which reads the information from the service discovery. And to fine tune my configuration, I've created a gateway filter, which acts as an HTTP filter, intercepting all the requests. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If that's the case, please click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to follow more videos like this one. Bye!